Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and Kaladesh has released on Arena. This is a remaster set that the cards are legal in his store. Um, so we got a couple drafts, something a little bit different on the channel. Don't play much limited. You can tell by my glorious bronze uh, record. So trying to get that up to at least uh, a respectable silver or gold. Uh, we went 6-2 with our first draft. Um, so we're going to do this one full. I did the draft portion offline while I was working today. Um, so we'll do this one fresh and we can go from there. Um, not the best drafter, so bear with me. Um, but we will try this out. These are live person drafts. And um, so the mechanics in Kaladesh, it's an artifact themed deck, uh, a theme, theme set. And what we're really looking for is there's like energy mechanic that has a lot of effects. There's what's called improvise, which allows you to reduce the cost. Um, what we are going to do is take a gear hulk. Uh, that's an easy pick one. Um, these ratings from Channel Fireball come from Untapped, which is really cool. Uh, so Combustible Gear Hulk, 6 mana, 6-6, six, six, first strike. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, target opponent may have you draw 3 cards. If they don't, you mill the 3 cards and deals damage equal to their CMC to your opponent. Um, so that's it, yeah. That's, um, it's a big boy. Um, so we can go red-green. So the line's not bad. Um, Revolt, just does minus three three so if you're permanent left servant of the conduits another very good one um i kind of like the mana fixing and because we don't really know where we want to go right now for our second color I th i'm inclined to take the land also i'm kind of being greedy with the i really like blue green uh, blue red um a lot of the evasive flyers i usually like drafting flyers plus these lines are going to be very good in standard or in a historic so, if we don't get full value, at the very least, I get another fast lined. Okay, so we have Cloud Blazer enters the battlefield. You gain two life, draw two. Uh, that's a very good card as well. Uh, we do could potentially splash, which isn't bad. Chandra's Revolution is a very good removal spell as well. We can get, yeah, I think we take this. So I figure we can get um, the artifact that lets you search for lands. If we could get like an attune with Aether. Like a 2-2 two -two flyer that draws you two cards, we're going to take most games. We already have the blue here, so it's not a stretch. Um, Arborback is very good. Uh, five mana. Oh no, but we're not in green. Improvise, this costs less for each artifact. This lets us gain energy, that just gains us life. Ice over, probably the best removal spell. This lets us search for basic lands, but that's in green. I, I want to avoid going into green just yet, so I think we just take the removal and ice over. Aether Meltdown, another good card. Um, just makes them smaller. Uh, Drake, you have an invasive flyer. Built to last, don't care about his, that as much. I think we take the Aether Meltdown. All these kind of shrink your creature style effects or tap them down are useful. Um, I don't want rebuke. Okay, so cloud blazer might be a little far fetched. I'm gonna take a tune with Aether. Kind of regret not taking the green cards in that other pack. Teamer is a very good color combination here. Uh, five mana, four four trampler. Or we go the turtle for a one drop. I think we take the top end here. Because we also want stuff that's big enough that if they mill us with Gearhawk, they just take the damage. If we could get a couple of tunes, this helps us fix our mana that we potentially could play Cloud Blazer. Um, 
So you're just a pump. You're not that great. When it enters the battlefield, you draw a card. It's probably the best. It's not great. It'd probably be something we cut. I want some of the cheaper energy enablers. Some flyers. Um, here. Just take this. It's an energy producer for now. I don't think we're going to play this. Uh, you get an energy, pay three, deal two damage to target player. As a way to just continually make energy, let's probably just put in the sideboard. If we go dedicated energy and we have like Whirler Virtuoso. Okay, we'll take Metallic Rebuke. Return target online permits to owner's hand. Okay, whatever. It's, it's bounce. It's in colors for now. Carry Zevs is not very good. This pack deals X damage as you choose among it, where X is the greatest power among creature spells you control. It's pretty good, like, pseudo board wipe. Actually, like this a lot more. It gives us uh, something to play on curve. We have a lot of energy enablers. So, just drawing cards. Like, we just want to get to this Gear Hulk. That'll probably win us the game. Uh, puzzle Knots. Nice. Unbridled Growth. Gives us a way to enable Revolt. And it filters our land, it doesn't draw us. When it attacks, deals one damage to each. Uh, kind of like the hmm, Puzzle Knot or another Beast. I think we go another. No, I think we go Puzzle Knot. Energy is really good in this format. So we don't have much with 1-1 one, one counters on it. I think we just take this. The flying enchant the uh, flying one. So the the one downside of these drafts, I have an opponent that's hogging all the cards. Um, here, when enters battlefield, draw a card. It's probably where we're going to go with. Figure at the very least, these just cycle themselves. Oh, we're just going to have a lot of 4-mana 2-2 two -two draw cards. Want some early game action. Disallow isn't terrible when it It's the best card in the pack, we'll take it. It's a rare. I don't think we want disallow. Cause like we're gonna be tapping out most of the time. I don't want to hold the counter spell up. That's good. So we could just, I think we want this just to bridge us the early game. It's another energy enabler. So we're heavy blue, splash red in uh, green right now. We haven't really seen much in terms 
Um, Druid of the Cowl is not bad. It's just like another ramp spell. We have another energy enabler. I think we just take the Druid here. Again, if we can go two into four, start drawing cards. I don't like any of these, so let's just take Refurbish. I actually don't mind the Unbridled Growth. It's a Revolt Enabler. It lets us draw a card late game and it fixes our mana. Uh, let's just get Rebuke. Cathartic Reunion's a little iffy. It's a really bad like top deck and we're not all right well we uh kind of topped out on the the gear hulk pack one uh whenever it or another whenever an artifact or artificer enters the battlefield under control it, you can get two and then you pay it to draw cards can go puzzle knot again. We can do this to bounce. Pass efficient. Uh, let's go with this. Just some removal. So the tiger is pretty sweet. Also volcanic baller. I don't think we're that aggressive, so I think I like the bigger threat here. We have a lot of two drops already. So there's the card draw one. Ooh, Harness Lightning. That's very good in our deck. Play another one of these. So these puzzle knots are good. No, I like I like Chandra's Revolution. This was really good in my uh, Grixis artifacts deck from the first draft. Let's just go removal here. These can all close out the game. We have a lot of ways to draw cards. Probably don't want rebuke. We can do like the turret machine gun. Die Young's very good. This bet us in a game, but it's kind of contingent on you already having a board state. Okay, so I wanna try to pivot to the machine gun version. I really like uh, the, what else we got? I really like this guy. An evasive one gets energy. So we can probably get rid of that. So this is actually pretty good because like I could bounce like one of my energy creators. Any of these, so I'd rather have uh, fa fragmentize. We're not playing mammoth. Ah, mammoth. It's just a big artifact. All right, what do we got here? Forty-three. 
probably a 17 land deck. So three cuts. This is crew one. Still have Druida Cow, I like Harness Lightning. I like all these. Maybe get rid of this trade wins. Get rid of Bastion. Honestly, you could probably get away with the land here. Um, so we have the red from here. It's five red sources. This could fix our mana. Just trim. A blue because with green we don't have a lot of no we could probably get away with playing five greens alrighty let's fire it up see how it goes see if we can beat the 6-3 we did last time Depending on how long this goes for the video, I might not do all games if we do go on a good run. Um, I can always update it later. Uh, it's going to be a mulligan. I think we keep. We try to draw into the blue source. Got there. Okay, so there are Gruel. So here I'm just going to bounce this, draw a card. Take two here. Try to find that red source. Perfect. So we'll kill this, tap down the red source. Not gonna block, so we'll attack in here. Red-green could have a bunch of pump spells, so I'm not really interested in trading there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So here I think we go. Aether Swan, and then just bounce whatever they play for the turn. I don't really wanna bounce this because they make this bigger. blocked there because I could have always bounced it. Bring it back to your hand opponent. Okay, so we are now a land from Gear Hulk going off. So we can block here. We also have something we can trade with there. And then Gear Hulk. Might just kill him. Got a lot of big things we could flip over. We have all our four mana draw ones. So this either deals a damage to a creature or can deal six damage to us.
So I'm doing this if they want to multi-block. I'm fine. Because then I get this first striker. I just want to take their power off the board. Cool. All right, opponent. What you saying? You going to let me draw three? Nice. 1-0. One 1-0. -oh. One -oh. Gearhulk beats. So we're now 7-3 and three in drafts so far. How's everyone doing today? And then TG Joe, if you're just stopping by. Normally play Constructed on the channel. We are trying out some limited with the Kaladesh release. Finished up a 6-3 run, which I should have been 7-2, but I punted it uh, with Grixis Artifact Energy. Um... Let's try it. Give me a green source. Okay, it's better than nothing. It gets us to these four drops. We have Harness Lightning as well. It can be decent. So we have Pyrohelix. See if they attack in. Just give us free energy. Okay, four mana. They get to create Thopters. I just want to be mana efficient here. Ah! I just want to hit my land drops. Jeez. How many four drops are we going to draw before hitting? Here they're just going to make Thopters be just... Well, that's not how I thought we'd uh, be playing out this game. The thing is I just need like one land and I'm off to the races. Gotta do this, otherwise we just discard anyways. We have 50% chance of drawing a land. They all come into play untapped. All lands are welcome. Any and all lands. That's a weird use of fragmentize. Is it so much to ask for to not draw literally all your top end? Probably wouldn't have attacked there. Just gives us energy for free. If they have a pump effect, they do, but. Okay. It's a start. Um, so I can bounce something here. Or I can play out a 2-2. I think we go 2-2 here. I want to start pressuring them. Okay, so that lets me go Lifecraft Cavalier. 
cavalry, and then try to go Gear Hulk. Like, they're not really in need to do. See if we can trigger. This having tramples relevant. Just trying to see if we can get the revolt to go. That's actually relevant. Need to try to draw land here. Of course not. Why oh, draw lands? I'm surprised they didn't just make another one and block here. We want the Skyclave there. Gives us a blocker. Oh, they're on Selesnia. Okay, so this turn. Play out that. Killing this. It's probably too late. Just missed lands way too many turns. Oh, I could have attacked here. This had Vigilance, so I could have crewed anyways. So we're probably going to have to bounce one of these. They could just have a pump effect. So they hit us for four there. Yeah, puzzle knots, some life. Um, so I need a way to get it going uh, that's fine Buys him a turn. Let's go puzzle knot here. Let's draw a card. Thank you. Um, leave in the dust and then block one. We just got to try to like jank them at this point. So 
So block one, we got to bounce one. Uh, da, 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 da. I could bounce this and then they can't create another one. But I take four. The stupid thing is like single-handedly going to beat us this game. Puzzle Knot will gain us some more life. Okay, so if I do this... I could Puzzle Knot up to five. That lets me attack in for two. Keeps me somewhat alive. I think we do that. I need to put pressure on them. I need to get them low enough. I don't know how many things we have left to deal. Not much. Okay, so they're going to take the damage here. Let's do this now. Just in case they had something. I'm going to hold off because this can block this. We're at one, two. They might just make this bigger. So I can do this. I kill this, bounce this, kill them, or almost. Okay, so let's see how we do this. They can make a thopter. So I kill this. I'm one damage short. Okay, so they make a Thopter. I bounce this. They block here. No, I got him dead. Because they could bounce that, but they're taking the damage regardless. Okay, this one was a, a nice one. The trample gets them through. Nice! Oh, that one was... Uh, they made us work for that one. Silver rank drafter. Maybe make this a limited stream? Definitely not. The odd game here and there is fine. Yeah, that one was... Uh, that artifact, if we don't put pressure on him... It's going to be a no for me. This one's good. Um, probably, I think we just want to cycle at this point. 
Going unbridled growth into Druid of the Cowl. Perfect. Drew the land. This lets me go Nimble Innovator next turn. Have you uh, played any games yet, Kyle? Shram Auras. So we can just keep bouncing this. Let them put a bunch of stuff on it. This card's going to make Auras really good. Servos and Thopters you control. Get plus one one. So we'll just wait, see what they play out. Might entice them to do a pump spell. Still might get pump spelled here. We could have taken the three. What you doing, opponent? Okay, they got us the Pyrohelix. Decent little number there. And they get the Servo here. So I think what we do here, are you sorcery? Let's try to We just passed the turn here. So probably go this next turn and then fight this. So if that's the case, let's trade here. Yeah, so they did have that pump spell the other game, the other turn. to draw. So I want to take this off the battlefield. You cost three to crew. It's relatively easy for you to Okay, so we can see what they do. Because they can do this crew attack in with this. Yeah, I played this really poorly. No blocks here. So I'm gonna get rid of this. This means they have to with both of them.
They can trade their board here. Requires them to have another creature to be able to um, crew that. I'm keeping this for next turn so that way I could trigger revolt. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ice overs actually pretty decent. We get them after their next uh, combat step. Can also just trade here, but I think we're good. Oh, that was very situational. It's a topper. Four three flyer on its own, pretty terrifying. So I think we ice over this aeronauts. And I'm gonna hold this line for now. This forces that they need to draw a creature to, to get this going. And I could chump this, I'm gonna have a harder time dealing with the flyer. Top deck it is. at the point of the game where all our creatures just cycle. Again, I think I'm just going to hold the land here, make it seem like we have something. We can take a hit for six. Okay, so we just need a payoff here. Gear Hulk could be really nice. Tiger. This is instant speed, so not bad. We can potentially kill something as it tries to crew. All right, well, it's between me and the opponent. See who draws more lands. I want to keep a card in hand at all times just to make it seem like we have something. Okay, so that's a very good one to crew. Just kill this. All right, don't think we have many lines left in our deck. We have five lines left. Okay, well that shrinks it down if needed. Finally. What do you say, opponent? Take your chance. All right. 
can go ahead. First strike. Super relevant here. Got two Chandras. Let's see what they do here. They're going wide. Jeez. Can we stop drawing lands? We even milled the land too. That's terrifying. Okay, well, now we need to get this. They can sack an artifact. Make this so it can't block. We can Aether Meltdown. This only does it for the turn. Chandra's Retribution would be decent. We're going to get like a tune with Aether. <laughs> Screw off, game. How do we draw... 15 lands in our 17 land deck. We had so much gas. Ah. I still think it was right to shrink down their flyer because, like, there's a few turns where we wouldn't have been able to do anything in terms of blocking, so we would have been dead. Sounds fine. I think we just do this before they can make tokens. Next turn we go Innovator. I would love to scry one. Thank you for asking. Nature's Way. Probably not. Want to just try to get this down? Cool. So... Okay, so this means... We don't want them to machine gun us. Can start drawing some cards with the Aether Thief here. Let's 
That's pretty neat interaction. Let's go. Come on. Probably bounce this unless they have another removal spell. They're on that tempo plan as well. Tiger that gets bigger each turn. Think I will. has first strike so that's gonna be a no for me important thing to read your cards <sighs> they might have a counter spell this deck's weird enough that revolutionary rebuke might be a thing So we'll do this. They hit us for four. They hit us for six. Notable amount of damage there. So we hit him back for six here. Like this now I can gain three and bounce, which is fine. So let them pay the mana here. They go Weaponsmith. Not as much removal in this one. We're a little clunky with some of our drops. I think we still take three here. See what they do post. When it enters the battlefield, whenever an artifact enters, it gains flying until end of turn. So, six I'm here. Get as many blockers as possible. Trample's relevant here. Can block both of these. One mana just it would have been good to do that, but then they would have just played up the weaponsmith. Um, 
here. Don't think it matters much. Okay, so. Got him. Alrighty. Big dumb things smashing in. Doing what they need to do. We are three and one. Probably still keep this. If we get a green source, we attune, we have three lands. We do need to hit, I would like a green mana, just further thins out our deck. They're on Esper. So, gains energy, I have to be aware that they can crew this this turn. So, when it attacks, it can give another creature flying. Feels like a game that our mana is going to get us. Flyers are powerful. And the ability to give other creatures flying is really reasonable. We potentially don't have a play for the next two turns. Or at least like this turn and the next. Wow. Yeah, that, this is a bomb. Vampire Lighthawk. I could have attacked for one there. I don't think I could beat this. We can't do nothing for three turns and expect to win. Can't attack here, they gain life. They hit me for... <laughs> yeah, I can't. Gear Hulk comes down, but they can even just take the damage if they want. I'm not getting through enough damage there. Really just didn't curve out well that game. Alright, see if we can redeem our status. Decent hand. I think I like getting this going earlier. Okay, so appreciate if you could give us a land. Just one land. So much to ask for. The last game, all we do was draw lands. Okay, so a couple options here. 
I can let them crew this turn. Attack me in. Actually, let them crew and then I'll bounce it to their hand. I'll take a block here. Get an energy for free and then bounce it. So they can cast that again. Hit our lands. So we probably do the exact same play here. Just try to continue hitting lands. Just trying to get to like Gear Hulk or one of our bigger threats. Beauty. So we do need a land. keep this on because it fixes my red mana so I think what we do probably just throw this in front destroy target artifact sure that seems fine Take four here. So they can just like start flying over us, but could Aether Meltdown this, but I think I just want to try to find a land here. We just want to get Gear Hulk going. Cool. You got it. If they're going to use counters on that, then I'm happy. I want to try to get this uh, Gear Hulk down. I think what we do here this way they can't crew and then I can draw a card and pass the turn sorry about that So Foundry Inspector comes down, let some crew here. It's probably like a pretty high likelihood 
that they have a counter spell or something. So I think what we do is we do this. Actually, that's very good as well. Um, I think we get the tiger down first because we got revolt going. Oh no, this isn't the revolt tiger. Oops. Oops. So they hit us for two here. I'll draw a card. And then I could pump this. Actually, we might not even draw a card this turn. Okay, so now we draw a card. And then we're going to kill this, I think. I just want to keep them off ways of animating this. And then just try to gear hulk for the win. Tap them off red mana since they have a lot of blue. Um, here. From a race perspective, we can do this. I can block this for the turn at least, and it lets me draw another card. Wow. Okay, that's a uh, tad scary. Okay, we're one mana off, but we can pyro here licks this next turn. Actually, let's just do the burn spell first. Eight life, we're still okay. Then we just do this, gain three more, draw another card. Our deck's doing a really good job of like just kind of drawing into stuff. Um, we have a lot of. So let's attack first. My guess is they just give us card draw here. Okay, so we can just do this on end step and then draw another card. Um, I think we actually keep the harness lightning. It can be relevant. because we can uh, pay mana or pay energy into it. Um, so I can do you just as a five, four. Honestly, I think we just go as wide as possible with these big ones. Even if they get something to crew here They have to tap it down, and I can do it in a way. Oh, they don't have anything to search either. Got him! Got him, got him, got him. Nice one. Gets us up.
brings us to four and one. Four and one or four and two? I can't remember. I think four and two. So keep. So we'll go shielded Aether Thief first. And then we'll go Aether Theorist. That's a nice one to drop. All these names are so similar, it makes it hard to uh, remember what you're dealing with. This might be Harness Lightning. Which, like in either case, we're probably okay with. Like I just draw a card. They have to go through most of their energy reserve. Two mana, four energy to take out our two drop that already drew a card. So can't be blocked by creatures of power two or less. Um, I think here we just this. And a green. Opponent, you could take the turn off, okay? How's that sound? One less mana for the turn. Workshop assistant is not that scary. What do these goggles do? Um, think we just pass the turn here. If they go to equipped, that's fine. Because now I do this. And now I do this. I'm assuming they're going to let us draw three. Mind you, they might bend three cards. I wouldn't mind, like, 12 spotting them. Because we've had some... All right, we've got a couple four drops here, but we have the four mana, two, two, draw, three. We have three of those. Okay, five damage. Actually would have liked Chandra's Retribution. Mind you, that's a four, five. You got your artificer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It 
Let's see what they do here. They take the damage. Interesting. Oh, since they took it, we'll do this. Probably do a scry on upkeep. If we hit another land, we can play with both. If not, we just make this a 6-6. Six, six. Okay, that's uh That's a thing. They're gonna attack here. We got a reader. They're probably gonna try to double block here. Seems pretty loose. Just nature's way this. And then play this out. And then have this to bounce this. And GG's. This is the part of the game when you're playing in paper that you just show them what you have in hand and call it good games. You know what, let's do upkeep to make them know we had it. <laughs> All right, we are cruising. A couple of little speed bumps, but Five two. Let's see if we get there. We're gonna go double mythic. I don't think I could play that much limited. It's fun here and there, but I feel like a lot of it the fun comes from being at pre release. Okay, so we probably go sky skiff cliff thingy and then go theorist so we can nam nam got a death touch one two um i think we're okay to continue taking damage from that next turn Like, we're currently winning the race, and then I have Harness, Lightning, and this Ice Over to deal with this. Worst case, I just play Innovator. Yeah, especially if they're missing lines. Pseudo Haste. Get there. When enters the battlefield or dies for each counter on target permanent, give that permanent. Okay. It's an easy harness lightning. To be honest, we probably. Hmm. Yeah, we probably do this. I don't think I care about the scry. Let's 
get the the attacker going in i'd rather have the four four as a blocker and then the thing is i can always use this to fight okay so here yeah they're just we're too much power too much All right, one more. We either go 6-3 or 7-2, back to back. At the very least, back to back six wins is pretty solid. Considering the last time I drafted was Theros. No, it was Ravnica. Veneers, Venives, Venives of his. No. Uh. No. We're kind of contingent on them having something. Or like us drawing with both lands and more action. These can help, but we're a little slow. We are on the draw. Okay, let's try. Figure we, we ice over their threat. Glint Nest Crane finds them an artifact. Fails to find them an artifact. Eddie Trailhawk. Mm. Okay, let's just do this this turn. Like a Chandra's Revolution next turn. Take out the Eddie Trailhawk or if they have something better. Like that. Tap down their white source. And now all my cards cycle themselves. Oh no, they've assembled the cannon. We can always bounce that if needed. They hit for one. It's only just two damage a turn, so it's not the end of the world. Draw another card. Just see what we get. Welcome everyone tuning in. We're currently six and two. We had a six and three run earlier with Grixis Energy Improvise. And now we are playing Teamer Gear Hulk Energy mix up. Uh, it's basically just try to get to Gear Hulk and then all your creatures and spells draw cards. That's fine. Crane comes down. This crane is not doing a good job at finding things. Can tell you that. Okay. 
so let's go draw a card here. They're charging the cannon. I think we go because we hit the eighth land anyways. Let's get this going. Twenty three cards. We've drawn four extra cards than our opponent. Seems pretty good. So let's go in for six. Whoa, this has flash. I should have read that. We played like eight games so far. Okay, so they pass through their space here. We take those. So this is actually good because I can crew here, block whatever flyer they have. I could have bounced this, but they could have played it again, so I don't think there's much utility in doing so. Plus, if they just spend their turn drawing a card, like I'd rather bounce this and make them take their whole turn. So we're going to do this to try to trigger Revolt. They can double block on one of these, but then I get the Revolt to uh, come in. Do it. Do it. Wimp. Okay. Slowly but surely. We have another bounce the following turn. Draws us another card. They're charging this up. They probably could have started just pinging us a bit. Well, that's a bit scary. But you can take one more turn with that. Think it over again, and then come back to me, okay, opponent? Harnessed Lightning. It's a 5 6. Okay, so let's just go to attacks. Probably gonna have to try to use this Lightning to, uh, to kill it in combat. Hmm. So the question here, I can deal three to it. 
That takes both their flyers off and then gives me a good amount of blockers. So I think we do do that because then I have a 5-4 as well. Because this puts them at 4. And then I just have this to come down. Got him! Easy games. Easy games. Seven wins. Seven wins. Kyle, thanks for the follow. Ooh, thanks for the sub, Kyle. Appreciate it. Came in wrong alert. Appreciate the support. Uh, give me one sec. Are you going to be streaming now, Kyle? Or... Um, Doubt it. Okay. No, I was just gonna, cause I'm gonna wrap it up. I was just gonna send the raid your way. Sorry, I just wanna. When you get the seven zero, I wanna be able to. Beauty. Okay, tomorrow? Yeah, I'll try to swim by tomorrow. Catch the... Uh, for those in chat, Kyle's uh, starting off streaming. Uh, if you do, follow him on Twitch. Uh, plays Standard and Historic. Check him out. Anyways, we had a great run today. 6-3 and three and 7-2. and two. Uh, So two great drafts. Appreciate everyone stopping by. Um, we will be joining, jumping into Constructed on Saturday. And uh, we'll have a stream then. Uh, until then, appreciate everyone stopping by as always. Have a great one and stay safe out there. Thanks for watching.